All right, Yins guys, there's another thing I wanted to talk about. This, I know, uh, you can see way down over here. You know how this camera is uh, showing it doesn't do it justice, but, man, you can see way goes back down there, the hillside down here. And you can, not uh, to drop off, but you can see way down. Yeah, this is a view I like better than my old place. And you guys followed me in my old place on that area that I was at, that porch. You might have caught a glimpse of it. I regret that I didn't show you more of a panoramic view. You saw parts of an apartment building on the one side. But actually that old place I lived in here was when I did my exercise videos and some talks. There was another side that maybe when I was walking around with the camera, I think, you know, during... The beginning of the pandemic I think you might have seen that it's like four stories up and down there I should have showed you more in detail you can see the police station down there and a lot of parts of the particular town so uh, that building was like a tower but I ought to go back in the footage of that old video some of them old videos when I was talk when I was showing you what they were doing you know wrapping things and covering up the tables outside to prevent people from having picnics out there because of the pandemic. But I know there was, I think there was footage you can see on the other side. But yeah, I like that idea of being able to look down from that tower. A lot of the, what I didn't show you that when I wasn't doing videos, I actually was gazing down there. So when I told you that story that that crap that happened uh, with the police just was utterly, de just blatantly deliberate uh, on a lie that I was patted down by the police. Then later, a year later, you know, COVID actually uh, killed the one chief over there. So I'm not saying I'm, I'm not, I don't like, I do not like Antifa. I, I can't stand Antifa. I hate them with a passion, what they're destroying the city. I'm not them, get me wrong, but... When somebody used to try to weaponize police in that town, I told you guys before, out of jealousy, uh, really, police never bothered again, police threatened violence. So a year later, on the anniversary of the day it happened, picture the face I was probably making with my arms crossed, standing there looking down at the police station. That doesn't make me a bad person, and, I, and do I hate every single police? No. And uh, do I le do I uh, condone what people like Antifa are doing? Do I like Antifa? No, hate them with a passion. And so, um, yeah, I'm a person that years ago, like twenty something, like uh, odd years ago, uh, I served in a jury. And matter of fact, this town, a courthouse, when the old courthouse was there before they demolished the old courthouse and built a new courthouse. I actually served in a jury once. Yeah, I remember the old courthouse that was actually at, in over there. Um, so that's what actually um, got me a little on the upset side. And I have beliefs and philosophies. Like I says, I don't can't stand Antifa and I don't hate every single person because they're police, but I study a lot of philosophies, you know, religiously too, that even if it's a year later, uh, if anybody say police do something and it was blatant, like somebody happened to know a cop or because somebody lied, and if some, a leader or somebody, a chief knew about it and allowed it to happen or even encouraged it, well, gotta punish him for it, you know. And that, and that's not singling out just because of somebody that's police. If it's anybody on the other side of the tracks, too. I'll tell you that right now. So, uh, like I said, in a town like this, I don't got to worry about that crap. But, yeah, I served in a jury once. Yep. And plus, I actually served, like, out in the cold for a religious organization that cares about black people and black kids, along with white people. People of all races raise money from, and nobody wants to go out, stand in the cold, and do that. But they'll do 
they'll uh, go out there and glorify and stand out there for some protest. And I'm not, uh, I'm not saying it's funny that anybody got shot or anybody died at the hands of a police officer that really should have known better and should have been more careful and took him in. But like I said, Nat, I learned respect for stores. You know, you don't do that shit either. So, so the reason why I believe some of the things I believe is, yeah, I served in a jury once and in a town I used to be in where a particular thing happened to, happened to me too. No excuse for it. Everybody knew I worked for the charity that was a few blocks from that police station. People knew damn well. And does it mean just because a particular uh, pair of police officers did something to me, threatened violence because of some lie and all that, does that mean that I uh, am obligated to support Antifa or support rioters? Hell no, I can't stand them. I hate them with a passion too. So I'm like, uh, I'm the kind of person, do you ever see that TV show, Ridiculousness? I feel that way on a particular scene in Ridiculousness when I'm looking at certain people of all kinds on the news. You ever see that episode of Ridiculousness where that guy was quitting his job in construction and saying, fuck you, fuck you, you're cool, you're cool, fuck you, fuck you, you're cool, and fuck you. I'm looking at the news and these different kind of people and I'm kind of like that, you know what I mean? That's what I'm seeing in my world.